In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a 3D image photo slideshow effect in Premiere Pro. So let's get on with it. In Premiere Pro, first select all images on the timeline, right click and set to frame size. Then highlight the first image, go up to scale and resize it down to 20 or whatever size you like. After that, select motion, right click and copy the properties. Now go back to the timeline, select the rest of the images and press Ctrl and V to paste the properties. Here make sure you go through every image and check if the size is the same as the first image. And if not, make some readjustments to the size until all images are almost the same size. Now go back to the first image and select the rectangle too. Then create a rectangle that covers the whole image. Next go back to the timeline and extend the rectangle layer until it covers all images. After that, go up to Window and click on Essential Graphics so that from here we can customize the shape layer. Go to Edit, select the layer, scroll down to Appearance, disable the Fill option, enable the Stroke option and increase the value to 24 or whatever value is good for you. Also, I will readjust the rectangle a bit, hoping to create the perfect frame for the image. Then I will go back on the timeline and cut the shape layer multiple times so every image will have a separate frame. But because the images are not the same, then the frame won't be the same and it will need readjustment. So that's why again I will go through each image and make sure that it has the perfect frame. For creating the animation, I will select each image with its own frame and create nests by naming them from 1 to 5. Next I will go to effects, type 3D, I will find it and drop it over the first image. Then I will go to the effects panel, find the 3D effect and create keyframes on to swivel, tilt and distance to image. Also if you want you can enable the spectacular highlight which in my opinion will give more professional look to your animation. Now first I will increase the distance to image to 68, then the tilt will be minus 12 and the swivel will be minus 37. But again you can change these values to your preferences. After that I will move the slider to the end of the image and change the swivel to 35, distance to image to minus 3 and if you want you can change the tilt as well but in this case I won't do it and I don't know why I created keyframe on it. Next to smooth the animation select all the keyframes, right click then go down to ease in and again right click and ease out. Then open the swivel properties and from velocity drag the left lever to the right until you get this little peak. And I will do the same with the distance to image as well. Also to save time doing this to every single image, I will copy the 3D effect, select the rest of the images and then Ctrl and V to paste it. Now in the next step, select the second image, go to swivel and change the places of the keyframes so we can have a different motion which will make the transition between the images smoother. I will do the same thing with the fourth image in my sequence but if you have a longer sequence you can do it to every other image. And if you want to create a background and make the images more distinctive, I'll move all images one track above, then go to the project panel and create a color made layer. I'll keep the default settings and go for the yellow color. But of course, you can change it to whatever color you want. Then what I will do, I'll grab the layer and as I said, I'll place it under the images so they can be more distinctive. After that, I'll find the drop shadow effect and drop it over the first image. Then I'll change some values so we can have a nice shadow to make the image pop up. And again to save time, I'll copy the effect and paste it into the rest of the images. And just like that you have created a decent 3D photo slideshow image effect in Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.